hello there welcome back to the new video today in this video we'll be talking about a method for improving the rag system and it's known by two names mostly one is small to big retrieval and the other one is parent retrieval you'll find this terminology with llama index library and this one with langchain so it's one thing having different names. So let's start off with first understanding what the limitation of normal rack system is and why do we need parent retrieval or small to big retrieval systems. So with typical rack pipeline, you have a larger document. You have a question for which you're trying to get answer from that is in context to stored in this document. And as we know, right, LMs are not really efficient in going through very large document as it starts hallucinating you will run out of context length and so on and so forth so it's better to kind of chunk your document into smaller pieces and only feed in the relevant part wherein the possibility of you getting an answer for your question increases that way you're kind of decreasing the load on lm as well in terms of giving it focused text for it to find the answer for so yeah that is a typical rack pipeline and you have some nitty gritties in between for example you have vector database in between that help you choose what is that most relevant chunk or chunks for a given query in an efficient fashion. There are a lot of optimization that you can do at a vector DB level, which I've talked in my previous video. I'll link that video in the I button, make sure to check it out. Cool. So there's always a trade off in terms of how long should your chunk be or what should be the length of your chunk. So for that matter, if you have a very big chunk size, you'll have a lot of filler text in between that will often overshadow the representation of the part of the text that tries to exactly answer the question that you have asked for. Because the representation that you're taking is for this red block rather than just the blue one. Now, on the other hand, you can think of what if we now retrieve smaller chunks. For example, if you chunk your things at a sentence level, let's say all these blue blocks and this is what you retrieve maybe this one and this one so then there are then there is a chance of you losing out on the surrounding context that could be helpful in supporting the argument that is being talked about in this one blue chunk so to balance out the trade off for both the techniques we have small to big retrieval and parent retrieval and as they go by the words right it's pretty intuitive to understand what it says is we'll use smaller chunks during the retrieval phase which happens till this point which i have marked as one and once we have retrieved a certain context that is relevant to our query we roll our context up to its parent or to its surrounding text and we feed that as an input to the llm along with the question so that's the pinpointed idea let's see it through a diagram so you have a document you did let's say it had four sentences so you had one two three four you have a vector database in place where all of these are embedded you ask a question for which the answer mostly lies in two but spills down to three for a certain context you ask your question it returns two is what you are interested in now if this goes to your llm along with your question you are likely to get an answer that is correct but may not be sufficient what we were looking for so instead, if you add a context three to it, which is a surrounding sentence in the document and you pass two plus three to LLM along with the question, the answer that you get is of higher quality, is less hallucinated and is better matched to the question that was asked for. So that's the idea of retrieving a bigger chunk in the synthesis phase. So this was the retrieval where you retrieved smaller document which is just two but when you pass it through llm you increase the context and add maybe surrounding sentences that could be one of the approaches you can or if you store let's say metadata for each of these chunks and you have the paragraph id you can give it a paragraph or if you have stored a page id you can give you can give the content of the entire page it again depends on how you start modeling your choices so yeah, if you like this content, make sure to hit that like button, share it across on your LinkedIn or wherever you usually share your stuff. Also with your friends, in case they are interested in such content, I'll meet you in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.